So I hope you can see my screen clearly. So assignment one, a data set is stored in a single CSV file. The data set you can download from here. Let me open the file from uh, my browser here as well. The file name is wikimovie plots deduct. OK, it's a simple CSV file that is comma separated value. If you open the file using uh, uh, Excel-like software, it will it actually looks like this. It will take some time because it it contains the uh, information of uh, I think 37 more than actually 34,000 movies information are stored. So there are specifically this information stored for each movies. Its release year, its title, its origin uh, of country. The director's name, the cast, the genre, the corresponding Wikipedia page associated with that movie, and the plot. Now, from this information, we can understand that plot is the most verbose one. Because release year will be just an integer, like say 2000 or 2005, maybe. A title can be maybe five or six uh, words at most, let's say for uh, once upon a time in Mexico or one flew over the cuckoo's nest, or hum dil de chuke sanam, something like that. The origin can be just the name of the country. The director's name is just a name of certain person, maybe two or three words. The cast will be containing the major casting or the high profile casting of the movie, maybe containing 10 to 12 names, different names. The genre is simply the genre of the movie, maybe containing two, maybe five or six words. The Wikipedia page is basically the URL. And the plot is basically the plot that you will be finding in the Wikipedia page of that uh, movie. So we understand that this plot is the most verbose one containing a, mo a much, I mean, representative form of the movie. So of course, we search, I mean, with our knowledge or with, with our general searching behavior, we know most of the time, most of the time we used to search a movie by their title. Like in, let's say we want to know the plot of the movie, say Cast Away. We will be searching in the Google with the term Cast Away Plot. Now let's say in a situation you do not remember or uh, you actually don't know about the title of the uh, of the movie but you know certain part of the plot let's say you remember that the movie containing the protagonist being a fedex uh, delivery man or a fedex executive who was lost while delivering certain package when his uh, plane crashed uh, in between two, uh, des uh, two des between a source and a destination that he was flying with a huge cargo. So we know this kind of a verbose query when the query is not clear. So in that case, this is the way to search for the corresponding movie. Now, of course, to search, as we have discussed so far, first of all, we need to index the collection, right? So to index, we need to have an indexer. So the indexer program is the first program in the assignment. So given this data set, write a program. You can write in C or Python. But I hope most of you will be more familiar with Python. Because using C, I mean, I, I think uh, I mean, you are not that much familiar with C as uh, as much you are familiar with Python. So that's why you can, of course, use Python as well. So using C or Python, you need to write a program that creates an inverted index. The discussion, the topic that we have discussed so far. Note that you don't need to uh, compress it anyway. Just a simple inverted index that you need to uh, make using the plot field. So of course, while tokenizing, as we have discussed, one part of the, the first part of document processing, or basically the first part of the 0th step of 
docu uh, document indexing is basically the tokenization. We need to tokenize the individual words. So there you should be applying a stemming algorithm. Let's say Porter Stemmer. I have shown you how to apply that using the NLTK package. But you should be keeping the stop word as it is. So do not remove the stop words. The second program is you need to write a searching algorithm as well, which will be taking one uh, query from the user as input, basically a keyword query, and which will be performing a Boolean search on that inverted index that you have uh, made using the using your first program. Now there are two extra, I mean, uh, miscellaneous problems as well. Like for the first program, uh, I mean, you can actually keep a provision to extend the inverted index with the information stored for other fields as well, like genre or say title or say director, such that you can search with, say you want to get all the movie names uh, uh, for which the director's name was, let's say Christopher Nolan. So searching with Christopher Nolan on plot will be giving you, I think, zero result. Because plot is basically will is talking about the movie itself. And the in movie itself, I, I don't think there are any movie mentioning Christopher Nolan's name in the plot. So in those cases, you need to keep the other fields as well as stored. Another type of query can be say, you want to get all the movies which are released in say 2020. In that case, this 2020 will not be actually offering here. So it would be great if you have this kind of a provision to store the other information as well, or the st uh, information stored in other fields as well. And for the second program, there is also another extra miscellaneous problem. Uh, incorporate a provision to make a rank retrieval. So basically, you need to do a Boolean retrieval or, boole or a Boolean search where just the occurrence of the query term would be sufficient to select that document. But it would be great if you extend that program to store the term frequency uh, together with the doc ID in the posting list. OK? Now, just to give you a hint of, uh, just to give you a sneak peek of the uh, data set, you can see uh, this is the released year, the first field, then title, then origin and ethnicity, then director. In this case, it is unknown. The cast is, again, unknown or missing for some documents. Genre is also unknown for some, because as you can see, it is a very old movie. So the wiki page, you can see this is the wiki page associated with that movie, and this is the plot. Now, the plot is a very good, I mean, bigger one. You can see it's, it's quite verbose. So all together, there are uh, 34,886 movies. So just to give you a brief on how to actually start processing the data, so let me just try to a small snippet to just start. I mean, how to how you will be able to uh, I mean access the data set. So as it is in the CSV format, as you can see, it's a simple CSV comma separated value format. So you need to import this package. Then let's give the file path. Uh, and say, so let me just copy the file path from here. It will be copied. So it's, it's basically stored in my Dropbox in this path. That's why this path has been given. OK, so in, for your case, it will be just the path where you are uh, downloading the data. Now we need to open the file with open, say, the file path. So we'll be opening it uh, in the read mode. So don't uh, we don't need to specify the mode. But as it is a CSV file, we need to specify certain other information here as well. Like new line will be considered as empty. And we should be using an encoding as, uh, I, I think, 
all the information stored here are uh, are in ascii but to be on the safe side it's better to encode it using this now comes the utility of this csv the csv package so let's declare the reader equals to so csv reader which will be taking uh, one uh, one compulsory or one mandatory parameter which is the file descriptor f then you need to mention the delimiter of the file so the delimiter will be basically here as as it is a csv file csv so the delimiter will be comma right and in the file there can be a multi line statement as well like here for this fourth movie if you read the movie if you read the i mean if you open the file using a simple uh, text editor you will be finding that there are new uh, new line characters inside this uh, plot so just reading the file line by line won't be sufficient so what we need to do is we need to actually so basically let me just show you this as well it will be easier for you to understand uh so if i just open the file using a simple vi you can see in the first line this information is stored release year the the column information release year title and so on second is the second movie this is the entire information release year then the name of the movie then the origin and so on so each line is containing the information regarding a single movie but there are exceptions like this you can see the fifth line is containing the ending of the last or the fourth uh, or the last encounter or the fourth basically third uh, movies plot so here as you can see in the plot the plot is starting from here the film just over a minute long is composed of two shots in the first some blah 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 in between so in the, in the first shot in the first and in the second there is a new line so just reading the document using a vi editor or using any text processing editor will not be sufficient another thing just to discriminate this is basically there is a quote character here so you can see there is a double quote starting here double quote ending here so any plot which is containing a new line character in between is basically enclosed by a quotation mark so that is why we need to provide another parameter here as part of this csv reader so the parameter is a uh, quote character equals to this sorry so here i am specifying the double quote as the quote character and another thing is uh think quoting if uh, yeah i think csv dot quote minimal so this is actually specifying that all the um, info I mean, all the fields are not like this then if i so now now this reader is basically containing the individual lines separately now for say um, let's say r in reader if i print the r we will be seeing that individual lines are being read so basically individual movies are now read which was not possible by just reading a single line now if you want to so r is basically a list now if you want to print say the first value that is the title of all the movies these are the title of all the movies so this is the title information the first dummy specifying the name this is the title this is the title this is the title and so on right so basically you need to consider uh so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the 7th uh 
mean column information which is the plot for from each of the file uh, from each of the movie and you need to index this so this is the basic program that you will be i hope you it's you you will be finding it useful to start writing the program any question so basically after reading so just to show you so movie 1 now nah, so movie title say c equals to 1 so which is basically c equals to 0 which is, which i am using as a counter movie title or movie title Mm -mm -mm. dot format let's to say c comma this so this will be printing say movie title one so this this is actually dummy you need to exclude this so from two onwards you should be considering kansas saloon smasher and so on and so forth so all together there will be uh, 300 and sorry 34886 movie information that is stored in this file 